It's another adventure with HiddenIncaTours.com. Today we're not really looking at ancient megalithic structures, but we're in the Paracas Reserve, which is a national uh, park in Peru on the coast at Paracas and it is 335,000 hectares in size which I believe is more than 700,000 acres. 220,000 of those hectares are the actual marine environment and the other 117,000 are land-based. It also boasts the largest assembly or collection of seabirds on the planet and is an incredibly robust uh, one of the richest areas of ocean on Earth. And so that's why it's an excellent place for seafood. It is or was the home of the famous Paracas elongated skull people that many of you will have heard of and is also where the Candelabro is located, which is part of the Nazca geoglyph and line system. The Nazca geoglyphs and lines go all the way from Paracas down to Nazca, which is a distance of more than a hundred and something miles. And this is where we call home. So the function of this video is simply to show you the beauty of an area that you may not have visited, such as this, which is called the Red Beach, because of the volcanic soil or material. Uh, this park is comprised of two different forms of um, activity in the ancient past. The ancient seafloor was raised up because it's right on the uh, two tectonic plates of the Nazca Plate and the Pacific Plate. And then you have the volcanic activity. So when you look at the landscape, the lighter color, such as here, is the ancient seafloor that's been raised up, uh, primarily limestone, and then the redder areas are the volcanic activity, and this is what we also see in the Nazca area itself, where the famous lines and geoglyphs are located. So you can see that the ocean itself is very pristine. This park was first formed uh, as a national heritage thing in the 1970s and is an absolutely beautiful environment. And here is where you see again the uh, ocean floor limestone that's been raised up. In some cases it's been raised up a hundred or so more feet, but here it's about 10 feet above the surface and then the red sand you see is the result of ancient volcanic activity. So a very austere environment. Uh, this area gets between one quarter and one half of inch of rain per year and all of the present water, fresh water that's in the area is actually traveling underground from the Andes. So that's the only reason why ancient cultures were able to establish themselves and even thrive in the case of the practice in such an inhospitable environment. The temperature you would think would go into the high 40s or 30s or 40s Celsius or over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, but that's not the case. It's actually quite a benign environment. Fluctuates, uh, winter time is somewhere around 18 degrees Celsius and summertime maybe about 25. So if you ever get a chance and are in Peru, of course, if you do come to Peru, you'll be visiting Machu Picchu. But if you have time, I would definitely recommend that you visit the Paracas area. There are two great museums of the Paracas culture. And as I say, it's simply a beautiful environment to experience. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and see you next time.